Well today boys, we're not pulling in with the Duramax, we got a Lamborghini Aventador, fully mounted with a gooseneck and a trailer hitch, just what we need for today's job. As well as a lot bigger trailer today because we're going to be hauling some sheds on back to the Home Depot for sale. They're not for rent, I don't know how you would rent one, but uh, we're going to be stocking them back up. They're pretty similar to the ones we have right here. These are actually half the size of the new ones. They got all of the bells and whistles on them, outdoor lights. So we needed something that has a lot of horsepower. And uh, Mr. Leslie Lamborghini said that this one will get the job done. So all we took his word on it. We hooked it up to a PJ. And uh, we're going to be heading over there shortly to grab three sheds. So that's what we're picking up. They got a forklift down there to help us load everything on. But this is what our rental setup is looking like. If you guys didn't check out last episode, it was pretty cool. We restocked the entire place. It's about the fifth day in the rental program. So we have some stuff to drop off later today once we get all of our work done with the sheds. But we're heading down to the shipyard right now. We're gonna get right on going because we don't have time to waste. So the shipyard is near the town. It's a little bit out, about a 15 minute drive. So not horrible, but we'll, uh, like we said, we'll load them on here and then we'll come right back, drop them all off. All right, what are these Subarus doing, man? They are slow. Let me just rip past them real quick. And then after we're done picking up these sheds, dropping them all off, we got another mission. We got some new enclosed trailers. I thought we were done getting all the stuff we need, but apparently we needed a little bit smaller ones because not many people go for the 48 or 50 footer uh, enclosed trailers. So we got to get some smaller ones. I think they're 25 footers and that's on today's to-do list at the Home Depot. Well, it's going to be a packed day. It's pretty fun. And do you guys seem to enjoy these Home Depot videos? So if you want me to continue it, smash that like button for me and I would appreciate it guys. And also subscribe because we're about to hit 40,000 subscribers and I want to do a live stream for it so let's see if we can hit our goal of 40k when this video is posted so if you guys haven't subscribed i know there's a bunch of you that aren't it means a lot to me when you guys subscribe so please do so and uh, i might give away a game or something cool if you guys have heard of ranch simulator i might give a copy of that away so if you guys want to have that giveaway come out subscribe to the channel boys all right well uh okay the shipyard should be right around the corner yep there's the train that runs through it Alright, we're pulling in. You can see all the cranes, the offloading cranes, and the guy said to pull through the gate and then take a left. Alright, through the gate and the left. Okay, we see some sheds over there. Those are probably ours. Those are exactly how they looked in the pictures. Pull over to the left here. Turn off the Lamborghini, but boy, this is a nice shipyard. Check out the pavement they got going on here. Very cool. So these are the three sheds. Double doors. They got the lights, concrete. Very nice. And they got them on two pallets, so those probably aren't the sturdiest. These things are heavy, so we got a big forklift. Look at the forks on the end of this thing. This thing can lift up an entire car. But uh, let's hop in the thing. He said the key's in it. Fire it up, and then I'm actually going to drop down this thing. There we go. All right, that brings it down to the ground. Tilt it forward. All right, I think we're ready to load these things up. All right, and then we just lift it up here with this lever. And then we just hoist it up with the lever here. All right, I think it's high enough in the air. We should be good there. Let's back this thing over towards the trailer. Get this thing loaded up. All right, turn the wheel hard left. Here we go. Check out the turning radius on this bad boy. Looking good. So let's head on over here. We'll load this one right in the front. And I would say that looks pretty good for our first time operating this beast. And we got the thing strapped down. So what could be better than that? So that's good. Let's go in for the second one right over behind us here. All right, drop down the forks just a touch. And then we got to tilt it back to its position. Right, we got to tilt it just to forward, get the boom swinging over. All right, we're back in the second one on up here. And uh, we'll load this one right behind the first one. Smooth as butter. So uh, let's go ahead and angle it as close as we can. Because we're actually going to have to throw the forklift on the back. Because we need to take this thing over. Our forklifts are not capable of handling these things. So we have to load this thing on the back. Because if you didn't know, our forklifts cannot handle these heavy sheds. Alright, the second one is good. So we gotta grab the last and final one that we're buying today to sell. I think they're actually listed at like $2,000. So they're insane. Alright, drop down the boom. And then I think we're lined up just a touch. It's actually tilted a bit there. Alright, okay, don't go in the water. And there you have it. All three are loaded on the trailer. That means we're ready to head out of here. I just gotta load up this forklift. That looks reasonable, so that means we're ready to go. The forks are uh, hanging off the side. Well, I can't do anything about that. But uh, we'll uh, go ahead and get heading back. Because like I said, we have no time to waste. I just hope we can clear that gate without the forklift falling off. We should be good because the Lamborghini is pulling fine. If that's the case, then uh, we're fine. Come on, come on. There we go, we cleared the forks. Alright, back on the road. But everything's holding up well, it should be strapped down good enough. Oh, perfect timing, right before the train comes. 
Boy, that guy is hauling. I know a little shortcut that we could take. That's if traffic isn't bad, but uh, the forests are high enough in the air where they could just clear the oncoming traffic. That's so cool, kind of. So here, let's just loop around this guy. And if you guys are enjoying so far, make sure you do hit that like button. It helps out the video a ton, and the YouTube algorithm is so much better. And that way more people can discover it and enjoy it just like you guys. So like I said, we're just going to take the back route. This is a route we've never taken before. Gas station right there, and then we're going past our other buddies. GMP construction facility right down to the left. There's our house right there. Alright, we got to bring in the trash bins when we get home as well. It's a pretty nice house, about 1.5 million. They cleared the light pole, that's good. And we made it back without the forks coming off. That's a good sign, and the sheds are heading on to the right side, right by our deck. So they're going to go on the ground over here. Now, if you guys have ever seen, this is the back road that sometimes people take, like the guy down there. I don't know why he's all the way down there, but he uh, takes this road. It's kind of just like the back alleyway. Most people come in from the front when they get stuff, but uh, we're going to unload. Got the forklift. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Just like that, bring them in. Right there is good, so uh, we're able to unload all these now. If all goes accordingly, and this shouldn't be too hard to unload. We're just setting them on the ground, so we gotta raise it here. Bring it in just a touch. Alright, we got this one by the bare bones here. We're gonna back this right up. We're gonna set it down right about here. Yep, that's perfect. We're gonna grab the second one here. Go in for the approach. Let's go ahead and tilt it forward just a touch. All right, we got the second one unloaded, so that's good. We're going to go in for the third and final one we got. Okay, let's just go for a nice approach. Don't want to damage any of the pallets either, because that's our only chance of getting these things loaded and unloaded from trailers. Okay, we got the final one here. Drop it down. All right, let's park it up right here. And, of course, the rental color had to be orange, uh, because Home Depot color is orange, so we had to get that color. But uh, we're going to park the Lamborghini and trailer up, because we're not going to need this anymore. Let's go around back, park this thing up. Okay, the gate's opening. Anyways, we don't have shipments until Tuesday, so we can put this one right here in lane B. So right there should be good. It towed pretty well, and oh boy, we could honestly unload it right directly here. But let's run up front. We're going to go grab one of the rental trucks, because we got to haul back three of the new enclosed trailers. They're 25-foot trailers, so they work pretty well. Click the button there. Let's go around. Oh yeah, and about that totaled rental truck, that one's in the shop right now. So we're going to get that one back next week, so... That's going to work out perfectly. We'll have four then. And uh, once we get these three back, okay, we're actually going right this time. We'll pull through here, and then we're just taking three of them back right now. And then we got to drop off one Vermeer skid steer and one of the big enclosed trailers to a customer's house. Let me back up here, get as close as I can. All right, that looks good. I'm going to winch it up here a bit. All right, winch it up. Okay, electrical's good. We're not going too far. Let's go ahead and unfold this, check out all the features on it. To dual axle, we got, I think we got, oh, we got tie downs for the straps in there. That's very nice. Then we got a side entrance door. We can go in here. So that's a pretty nice trailer. It's just a black bottom deck. We had to get Home Depot orange, of course, but it is the official time we're going to be adding to the rental program for now. So let's haul this thing on back. We'll get all three set up. Not go rock crawling, okay? Go back on the road. I don't know what it is, but the Ram wants to go rock crawling for some reason. And the Home Depot is literally right down the road. It's a quick commute, just that one cat dealership sells these trailers. Pretty nice, they're brand new as well. Alright, we just ran into a problem. We have nowhere to put these. Uh, okay, well, we have space over here. So we'll put these for now on over here in the corner area. Until some of the other rentals start flowing out of here. Alright, that one's perfect. Let's go grab another one. And I might have a trick for the last one. We can maybe throw it on the flatbed. If it's not too big, we'll maybe do some science experiment and see what we can do. Oh gosh, we're hauling, boys. Okay, we're still turning without hitting the other one. But boy, is this funny. Alright, we'll haul these two back. Both have different rim colors, so I wonder if that other one did. I think the other one had chrome, so oh gosh. We're struggling to pull a bit. This is a lot of weight to put on a flatbed. Okay, watch out, Subaru. No time to get mad today. I guarantee it honked at me. Oh, it honked. Well, we got these back, and then we just got to drop off a Vermeer skits here in the big trailer. Push! Oh, come on! Oh, there we go. Got that one off the flatbed. Now we just got to put this one over on the side. We'll be ready to drop off some rentals today, boys. All right, the other one's got a chrome option, so that's what I was wondering. These are going for like $39 an hour, so they're still pretty pricey. And, oh my god, we have so much stuff. It's crazy. So, let's actually uh, put this one rental back. And then I already loaded one of the Vermeers on the back of the other rental this morning when I was going through the online order list, 
back this one right about there this one's got the drill on it so we got it strapped down already this one's good we'll just hook up to the big 48 footer and both are going towards the residential area i think one's right down the road from the other so we'll back up to the 48 footer all right just a touch more right about there let's pull on out of here we got the rentals going there we go looking good all right, taking it right here back to the houses. And once going on a camping trip, he needs something to haul his toys with. So uh, we told him the 48 footer is the best choice. You can get three side by sides, your ATVs, or you could even put a car back there if you wanted to. I think he's hauling it with his truck. And then he's got something else he said we could check out when we get there. I think he said it was some type of boat or something. So I'm excited to see it. I don't really go in too many boats. So it's pretty cool when we get to check out some new ones. Let's back this one up. He said just back it in the driveway. Gotta go in the grass just a bit. Come on, Cummins, you got it. Don't hit the boat. Okay, right about there. All right, you can put it on the hazards for now. Just park there. And then this is the boat he was talking about. Got the antennas already prepped, strapped down. 42 yellowfin, looking good. 700 on two motors, so that's 1,400 horsepower in total for this boat. So that's a cool piece of equipment. I mean, luxury toy. That's that's what we call it, because that's not really uh, work, I would say. It's more for enjoyment. And then he's got an AT4 GMC. And then I think his wife got a GMC Yukon. And she's going to be hauling the trailer, so that's cool. They're working on the front yard, so they just need one of these Vermeers to ground up the dirt again. Fire it up. Raise the boom. There we go. We'll just leave this one here. And we're good to head back to the Home Depot. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, you had another great time watching the Home Depot vids. You guys enjoyed these ones a lot, I can tell. If you guys want to see more, obviously hit the like button. Shows me you want another one. And also, make sure you guys do subscribe because I want to hit our goal. And I'm sure you guys do too because I'll give away that copy of the game Ranch Simulator for free. I think it's like 30 bucks or something. So free giveaways if we hit our goal, boys. Thank you guys for watching this one. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.